diseases like leukemia and lymphoma often require intensive treatment and it's necessary to make a precise diagnosis. As our understanding of these diseases has improved and become more sophisticated, we've learned that it's really necessary, in addition to looking at the cells, to do all sorts of sophisticated tests, looking at the proteins on the surface of the cell, looking at the chromosomes inside of the cells in order to make a precise diagnosis. Treatment will vary based on exactly what type of leukemia and lymphoma the patient has. Leukemia actually means lots of white cells in the bloodstream. There are two main categories, acute leukemias and chronic leukemias. Acute leukemias generally require the more intensive therapies. Chronic leukemias can be treated often with less intensive regimens, but still have excellent outcomes. So acute leukemia is obviously rapid and more aggressive, so we tend to admit the patients, especially our younger patients, to the hospital and give them chemotherapy as an inpatient. Patients that are in higher risk groups, especially with acute leukemia, would be considered for a stem cell transplant. Where we use very strong chemotherapy, sometimes even total body radiation therapy, to eliminate all of the bad cells, and then we replace the patient's bone marrow with the stem cell transplant so that hopefully we've killed every last bad cell and then allow the donor's normal cells to grow back. Lymphoma is a cancer of the lymph nodes. You have to biopsy a lymph node and there are many different types of biopsies that can be done and then once you have adequate tissue all of the studies similar to what's done with leukemia need to be done and then a, a precise diagnosis made. In treatment modalities for lymphoma, it can be a very simple watch and wait. You can want to give them chemotherapy, biologic therapy, combined chemo radiation, radiation alone. If you're diagnosed with leukemia or lymphoma, you want to be seen in a place where there's a staff that has trained expertise in dealing with this disease. We have a dedicated group of hematopathologists a dedicated group of radiation oncologists and a dedicated group of radiologists who all work together to communicate and discuss the diagnostic and treatment plan for these patients. There are also the nurses. The nurses interact intimately with the patient. There are social workers who help us with obtaining the appropriate coverage for many of the very expensive drugs that we have to prescribe. When you have leukemia, or lymphoma and you're undergoing treatment because it is a disease of your blood, a lot of the treatments will further depress your immunity. So fevers, infections are very common. So being close by to the facility where you're being cared for is very important. Having your physicians nearby that understand your history that can help guide you. So what's exciting about the future of hematology is targeted therapies, newer medications that are coming out. These advances are changing the lives of, of many, many patients. So it's very rewarding to see patients that come in so ill rapidly get better.